Did you ever hear about the mysterious links between Jared Leto and an alleged cult? Now, there's a question that might raise an eyebrow or two. Jared Leto, the multi-talented actor and musician, has been in the limelight for years, known for his captivating roles in film and his melodic prowess as the frontman of 30 Seconds to Mars. He's always been known for his eccentricity, but whispers of something more, unusual, began to circulate. It started as hushed rumors, quiet chatter in the corners of Hollywood parties, stories of a charismatic leader, a community of dedicated followers, a sense of belonging that teetered on the edge of obsession. And at the center of it all, the enigmatic Jared Leto, a narrative that, at first glance, seems to mirror the rise and fall of charismatic tech CEOs we've seen dramatized on screen. But this isn't Silicon Valley, and Leto isn't a tech mogul. As intriguing as it sounds, the story starts to unfold with a peculiar island and a band called 30 Seconds to Mars. It all began with an annual summer camp event, Mars Island, hosted by Leto's band. This wasn't your typical music festival, oh no, it was something quite different. Mars Island started innocently enough, a three-day extravaganza for fans to mingle with the band, enjoy exclusive performances, and revel in the idyllic surroundings of a private Croatian island. But as the years passed, whispers began to circulate about the event's transformation. It was no longer just a fun-filled fan retreat. Attendees described an atmosphere that was, well, a bit unusual. There were reports of strange rituals, group meditations, and even a dress code of white and gold. The three-day retreat began to resemble less of a fan camp and more of a spiritual gathering. The exclusivity of the event added more fuel to the fire. Only those who could cough up a hefty sum were allowed access to this mystical island, creating an atmosphere of elitism and secrecy. And then there was the devotion of the fans, a devotion that seemed to go beyond the typical fan idol relationship. As these stories seeped out, the digital world began to hum with conspiracy theories. Online sleuths dissected every bit of information, every image, every anecdote. The term cult began to circulate, attaching itself to Mars Island and its enigmatic host. The internet, as it often does, took hold of this narrative and ran with it, turning whispers into shouts. Yet amidst all the speculation, one could argue that Mars Island was simply a unique fan experience. An immersive event where fans could connect deeply with their idols and with each other. A place where the music wasn't just heard, but felt. But for others, the peculiar practices, the exclusivity, the intense devotion, it all seemed eerily similar to a cult's workings. While it all could be interpreted as just a unique fan experience, some found it eerily similar to a cult's workings. As the years rolled on, the whispers grew louder and the conspiracy deeper. The alleged cult surrounding Jared Leto didn't just fade into oblivion. Rather, it gained momentum. A veil of mystery hung over the enigmatic figure and his bandmates as more people began sharing their unnerving experiences and suspicions. Social media platforms became the new town square where tales of the cult were whispered in hushed tones. In the midst of this growing storm, Leto and his bandmates were not silent. They vehemently denied these allegations, declaring them as nothing more than the product of overactive imaginations. But the louder their denials, the more fuel it added to the conspiracy fire. The denials were seen by many as an attempt to deflect, to maintain the facade, and to continue their questionable activities under the guise of art and music. But the world was watching, and the world was asking questions. The conspiracy had grown into something larger, something more ominous. The denials and dismissals from Leto and his bandmates only stoked the flames of intrigue, making the alleged cult a topic of heated debate and speculation. Despite the denials, the mystery around Jared Leto and his alleged cult persists. The conspiracy had grown roots, and those roots were deep. The world watched, waited, and wondered what the truth really was. So, is Jared Leto really leading a cult, or is it all just a massive misunderstanding? This question has been the heart of our exploration. We've journeyed through the enigma that is Jared Leto, the inception of the alleged cult, and the burgeoning conspiracy theories. Yet the truth remains elusive. The divergent narratives create a labyrinth of speculation. On one hand, we have the fans, the ardent followers of Leto's band, 30 Seconds to Mars, who view the Mars Island experience as an immersive retreat of music and camaraderie. 
On the other, skeptics argue that the island's exclusivity, the ritualistic symbols, and Leto's charismatic leadership echo the hallmarks of a cult. Then there's the undeniable fact that the evidence is circumstantial at best. No concrete proof supports the claims of cult-like activity. The island's operations remain within legal boundaries, and there are no reported complaints from attendees. In the absence of definitive answers, the intrigue only deepens. The narrative keeps evolving, fueled by curiosity, fascination, and the allure of the unknown. The blurred line between fact and fiction, reality and perception, adds to the enigma that is Jared Leto and his Mars Island. Whether it's a cult or a creative expression, the mystery around Jared Leto's Mars Island continues to captivate us all.